Hi friends, welcome to Afa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 34 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about for loop. We are also going to discuss about break statement and continuous statement. We are also going to discuss about range function. Break statement and continuous statement is also discussed in our previous video also. So where I have explained about while loop. So please watch that video. If you have already watched while loop video, then when I am discussing about break and continue, you can skip the video at that part and you can continue with the other slides. But yeah, uh, let's focus on this for loop in this video especially. So as I said in my previous video of this Python playlist, Python has two primitive loop components. One is while loop, another one is for loop. This for loop is actually used to iterate over a sequence. So normally in Python, we have a couple of data types which will actually like sequence, right? List. List will be containing like collection of items. Even tuple will contain the same. Dictionary will contain the same. Set will contain the same. And string is also nothing but like collection of characters basically. So if you have already seen my previous videos of list, tuple, dictionary, set, and strings, by this time you have already know how to use these loops for loop especially on top of that sequence. But anyways, we are going to discuss in detail about this for loop in this video. So if you this if you see this example here, we have a variable called fruits which contains list actually. So list of items, one item is apple, another item is banana, another item is cherries. Now using first statement, we are looping through this uh, fruits variable, that means a complete list and printing each item here. So this is how you use these loops basically. So let me practically show you this. Let me go to Visual Studio code here. So let's assume, uh, so I will also create a variable called maybe like fruits, okay. And in the fruits variable, I, I am going to keep uh, like maybe First one is apple and then second one is banana and then third one is maybe orange okay so now let's assume this is a list i have now i want to loop each item from this list then i can use this for keyword and here for item in fruits so what we, what is the meaning of item here so this item is going to be each item representation from this list so this is the list i used in the loop right so each item will be taken from this list for the each iteration and that item will come onto this into this item variable and inside the loop whatever i want to do i can do so maybe i want to print that item maybe let's say so now let me save these changes and now if i execute this code you will understand what will happen see it is printing apple banana orange what happens this list contains three items so it iterated three times and every time item be taken into this item variable and inside the loop we are printing it so this is how for loop will actually work okay and you can use break statement if you want to exit your loop completely at some point of time like how let me practically show you this so let's assume here i am printing every item right here so what i do here is uh, if the item what i am getting in the iteration equals to equals to banana let's assume then in that case i don't want to uh, in that case i want to break okay so let me use this colon symbol in that case, I want to use a break statement here to break the loop. If item is not banana, then execution will not go into this if condition at all and it will always print the items here. So now if this is the code, let's see what will happen here first. So let me execute this. If you see, it printed only apple. Why? Because for the first iteration, it will take apple. Apple is not equals to banana. It is not equal. So this condition fails. So it will print apple. Second iteration is banana. So banana equals to banana. True. So it will go inside. Break the entire loop and it will come out that's why other two iterations values didn't printed here okay so now let's understand continuous statement continuous statement is actually uh, it's kind of like breaking only that particular iteration that means stop only execution of the current iteration no need to uh, stop or no need to come out of entire loop so yeah, when i practically show you that you will understand that if you take the same syntax here instead of break here if i use continue that means when item is going to match with banana at that time it will hit this continue and uh, that banana iteration will come out it will not print banana and then third iteration will still continue and orange will be taken and orange will be printed here so let me save these changes and let me practically show you this by running the python file here so let me run it see you can see it printed apple orange why because only the banana iteration was skipped here because of this continue statement okay it will not skip the entire loop it will only skip the that particular iteration okay so now let's go to the presentation one more thing what you need to know when you are discussing about for loops is range function 
सो दिस रेंज फंक्शन एक्चुअली गिव यू ए लिस्ट ऑफ नंबर बेस्ड अपॉन द वैल्यू यू सप्लाई टू द रेंज फंक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर इफ आई सप्लाई वैल्यू सिक्स इट इज गोइंग टू गिव मी रेंज ऑफ ए लिस्ट ऑफ वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स विल नॉट बी इंक्लूडेड ओके ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर बट लेट्स अज्यूम आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द लिस्ट फ्रॉम जीरो आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर आई कैन मैंशन द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑल्सो सो फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टिल सिक्स जनरेट द सिक्वेंस ऑफ द नंबर दैट मीन्स टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड हियर लेट्स अज्यूम एवरी टाइम वैल्यू इज इंक्रीमेंटिंग ओनली बाई वन राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू बाई सम सर्टन वैल्यू देन यू कैन यूज दट इंक्रीमेंटल ऑल्सो सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू देन टू प्लस थ्री कोस टू फाइव लाइक दट इट विल इंक्रीमेंट टिल हियर एंड इट विल गिव ऑल द सिक्वेंस ऑफ नंबर इन ए लिस्ट so let me practically show you this also using the range function so what i am going to do here i am going to use a range function and then maybe x in range of 6 let's say use the same same uh, syntax maybe same sample maybe and here i am printing the value x now let me save these changes now if i execute it see you got 0 1 2 3 4 5 why because this range function will give the list of numbers till 6 and each number is iterating using this loop for loop okay and uh, if i want to specify i want the range to start only from 2 then i can do that as well now if i execute this code as you have expected it will print 2 3 4 5 why because starting position we mentioned as a uh, a 2 and here even i can say like uh, increment by 3 or increment by 2 so i don't want to increment by only 1 even you can do that so and uh, till 30 and starting position is 2 so let me save these changes and if i run this now see it is going to till 30 increment by 33 and print all those values okay so this is how this range function will work in the for loops and the last thing is about nested loops nested loop means loop inside the loop so for example if you see here i have two list items uh, one is adg that means adjective variable which contains a list of colors maybe let's assume our color and size and taste and we have another list variable which is fruits which contains the fruit names so what i can do i can iterate both this list using the nested loop fashion you can see here initially i am trying to loop the adg adj variable that is adjectives variable and then inside that loop i am iterating again fruits so let's try to practically implement this and see what is the output will be printed so let me go to my visual studio code so here what i am going to do maybe uh, adjective then here i will say uh, red then there is let's use another adjective maybe like big okay so there are two adjectives and fruits there are two list the totally two variables one is this one which are, which contains list another one is this one which is also contains list now here let's try to iterate over x in adj then inside the loop again i want to iterate over this fruits variable and then inside this inner loop maybe i want to print both the outer loop value for the iteration and the inner loop value also for the iteration so let's try to use this print both and see what results we will get so let me clear this here and if i execute this see it got it printed red apple red banana red orange again big apple big banana big orange why why because for the first iteration here it will take red from the outer loop and it will go here and then it will again take apple from the inner loop and it will print red apple then this loop is not ended right inner loop internal loop is still there it will take again banana then red banana again orange then red orange then that's it this loop ended then execution will come out to the outer loop again so second iteration of the outer loop will start by taking the item big and it will go inside again again we are going to loop the fruits so big apple big banana big orange so this is a nested loop is also possible using this for loops so that's it in this video thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.